All right, let's see if you see what I see. See it yet? Now do you see it? Now do you see it? That's your daytime light. I don't know if you can see it. Let's move a little closer. Look at the headlight here. Look at this headlight. It's missing this side. There's like an LED that shines there and one that shines there. This one has both. You can see the glare there and there on both sides. So these lasted about two months short of two years. Got replacements coming uh, any second now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the yellow lights on there. And here's the bulb that I purchased. I bought this off of Amazon. There will be a link in the description for those of y'all curious. It's basically the same thing as all the other bulbs that I've had before. It's an LED, it's 6,500K watt brightness. It's about $40. I think there was a 15% coupon. So it basically made the price about $38 with tax included for me. Okay, so UPS just dropped off my new LED light bulbs and they look, that's the old one. I already took that out in anticipation. Here's the new one. And what can I say? It's changed in two years. The, uh, I'm gonna call this the little cutoff thing on there, which was screwed on before. Now it's part of the housing. This looks like it has a bar of LEDs all in the same position. This looks like there are like four individual ones, individual ones in different positions. But the main thing I want to show you here is I read a lot of comments online about uh, in the reviews about people not being able to figure out how to get the, uh, the rubber boot on here. And there's a little bit of a trick and it's not difficult at all. This will work on any car, any which way. You don't need to cut the boot. So I'm gonna see if I can show you and I'm gonna put my, this GoPro down in here to where you can maybe see that we'll edit that in. But the secret is right here. You've got to remove this little plastic thing. It's the same on all of the bulbs. And that goes in first. Let's see, let's set you there. So you've got to put this inside here. And then you've got to get those little spring dillies and secure it. Now, the bulb, so the bulb goes in here. So now you gotta take this and line up the little two tits which are at the top and the bottom and then twist it accordingly. Hope that makes sense. I'm gonna show, hopefully this will go in and make sense. So first thing, you do. That's got to go in and line up like that. There you go. And then you twist it. That's how it's going to be. Practice first without the boot on. Pull this out. Now you can shove the boot in. Now go back again, push, twist, rotate, and now you can shove, well actually now that boot is in. Then you just plug 
the unit in and it's that easy. Now let's turn on the headlight. Let's see if it works. And it works. And I think that I've got it orientated upside down. I've done this enough times to where I know. So we'll come back and we'll turn you off. You just got to rotate this 180 degrees. Pull it out. There's your 180 degrees of rotation. Put it in. And rotate it. Like that. I think I'm right this time. I'm looking at the cutoff. And the cutoff is going to be on the upper half. All right, so I think that's it. Let's do the other side. Kind of like see what I'm doing. So unplug the bulb. There we go. Out it comes, just like that. And you pull the boot off. There's the boot. All right, so this is the bad one. Let's just plug it in right here and see if we can see the dead LED. Ah, yes you can. So that side should be pretty blinding to you. I'm rotating it 180 degrees right there. You can kind of see a little bitty glow right there. I mean, it's really a faint glow. It does show, it is bad. Take the springs off. Pull that out. Remove that little plastic hoosie and put that in first. It'll only go in one way. Reattach those little springy dillies. You can actually from that point, put the boot back on if you wish. And take the bulb. Push it in and rotate it all the way around until it stops. Remember, you probably got it in upside down again. You never know. Not sure if you're going to be able to see the cutoffs on the wall, but yeah, there's your light, and that should be all cut off. There should be no light up there. And then, looking into the lights, same thing. We're good. Let's back it out so we can see the same thing from before. Up next. Okay. As you can see, it is plenty bright. And just like from before, both sides in here are lit up. left and right on here are lit up. But this doesn't matter. What matters is what does it look like at night? So we're gonna have to wait another couple hours and then we'll go for a test ride. Night test. All right. That's got a lot of lights spitting out at the top. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. I mean, it's got a good cutoff, but it doesn't cut everything off. You see, I mean, you can see where it's really 
it's glaring. I mean, illuminating the road and everything, I think it's fine. It, it looks good on the road. I can see the road good. High beam. High beams with these are really useless. I mean, unless you're trying to put more light up in the sky and off of the ground. I don't know why you'd even use it. And I kind of felt the same way with the uh, with the first generation bulbs. If I want it brighter, I just put on my uh, fog lamp, roof rack, light bar. I'd say the illumination is good. I'm happy with the light output of it, but I'm really expecting it to be glaring to other people. see I gotta get out on the open road and get feedback from other people bye man see you